this demonstration provides your account's payment information. Hi, I am a Seller Central expert and today I would help you understand the settlement summary of your account for a given time period. After completion of this module, you will be able to Identify information available in summary reports, transaction reports, and settlement reports in your account. Download transaction reports. Pajal, a registered merchant with Pay with Amazon on her shopping website would like to know about various payments reports available in her account. To view details of your payments, you can refer to the payments page of Amazon Seller Central. To access the payments page, on the Amazon Seller Central, pay with Amazon Production View, expand the Reports menu. Then click the Payments option. The payments page enables you to view details of electronic transactions or cash on delivery transactions and non-transactional fees. For both of these transactions, you can view details of your payments using the Statement View, Transaction View, All Statements and Date Range Reports tabs. The Statements View is displayed by default. This tab provides information about your account summary that includes current balance, last settlement date and order and refunds totals. The Find a Transaction search box enables you to view credits, fees and adjustments for a specific order. The beginning balance section displays the balance in your account at the beginning of the settlement period reflecting either undisbursed funds or previous negative settlements. The orders section provides information about orders totals, such as product charges, promo rebates, pay with Amazon fees and postage and gift wrap credits. The refunds section provides information about refund totals since your last statement period. The Closing Balance section reflects your balance at the end of a statement period. The closing balance of your account is calculated by deducting the unavailable balance, known as reserve amount, from the total balance. Unavailable balance is the amount that pay with Amazon holds in your seller account in case of chargebacks, refunds or fees. You can also get the information related to your payment due date. The View Transactions link enables you to view a summary of your account transactions since the last settlement period. The Print This Page link enables you to take a printout of your account summary. The Rate This Page link at the bottom of the Statement View tab enables you to submit your feedback related to your experience while accessing the displayed information. The Contact Seller Support link enables you to get in touch with the technical support team of Pay with Amazon in case you have any queries. The Transaction View tab displays a summary of your account transactions that occurred in the account since the last settlement period up until the prior day's close of business. You can modify the Transaction View by filtering the results or by searching for transactions that meet your criteria. The Filter View by option enables you specify the type of transaction to display, such as all transaction types, order payment, refund, if via inventory liquidation or service fees. The search for a transaction link enables you search for specific transactions using an order SID. The past number of days and statement period links enable you to view transactions for a set number of days starting from one day up to 365 days. Note. The Statement Period link is activated when you click the Past Number of Days or Custom Date Range link. The Custom Date Range link enables you to view transactions for a specific date range. The All Statements tab enables you to view a summary of your past settlements for a particular period. The When Will I Be Paid? link provides information related to your payments. Note that it can take 14 days to receive payment for your sales proceeds after you register with Seller Central. Subsequently, the settlement process repeats every 7 days. The payment you receive is based on your product sales, fees, refunds, and 100% buyer protection guarantee claims received. The Why Are Some Reports Missing? link provides information about missing reports in your account. The Date Range Reports tab enables you to generate transaction reports for a specific date range. 
to generate a transaction report. Click the Generate Report button. In the General Date Range Report dialog box, select the Transaction option. Select a month or specify a date range. Note, if you choose the month option, you could choose to generate recurring reports. To generate recurring reports, select the Make Recurring Report check box. Then click the Generate button. The transaction report provides a detailed list of the transactions that occurred in your account during a specific date range. The Statement View tab displays a summary of your account for a particular period. The Transaction View tab displays a summary of your account transactions since the last settlement period up until the prior day's close. The All Statements tab provides a link to your past settlement reports and a summary of each settlement. The Date Range Reports tab enables you to generate individual transaction reports for a specific date range. The Payment Management module is now complete. To register for Pay with Amazon, please visit paywithamazon.amazon.in. Happy selling!